Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langton and today what I want to talk about is how to do a descriptive paragraph that is more technical than literary. And what we mean by that is that um, like a literary descriptive paragraph might use metaphors and similes to make comparisons and those types of things whereas with a technical description we're gonna it's like Joe Friday said just the facts okay so in my classroom we have a bunch of chairs at the computer stations and um, what I did is I picked the chair up and looked at the bottom to see who the maker was and it's a company called Han at www.han.com and as you can see we're at the website right now this is the chair or at least the best I could find that's similar to it this is the high, this is a high performance task chair model number H7828 and you can see it has all a little description has the dimensions the price its features and all kinds of good information here so from this I can write basically a descriptive paragraph so what I did is I just handwriting on a piece of paper I initially came up with this to begin with. So I started out with it was a chair that was my first topic sentence and then as I found out information about the chair I changed this into this so it is a Han this is a trademark symbol high performance task chair model number H7828 and then what I wanted to cover were what were its dimensions, its colors, its features, its price its comfort and its material. So this is kind of my outline and I always suggest that people start with an outline. It just helps you organize your thoughts and to help you understand what's going on. So then I went back and I and I literally wrote each sentence in correlation with that list. So the first next sentence after my topic sentence up there is this chair is 34 and a half inches deep by 26 and 7 inches 7 eighths inches wide and 44 inches tall simple enough move on to color its colors now I don't have to say chair over and over again I can just use the pronoun its and that'll work its colors are maroon fabric that cover the seat top and back where you lean against it and black plastic and metal for the rest of the chair so basically the chair is maroon and black Um, next I moved on to features as in my thing its features include adjustments to the back arms and seat which include height width and tilt at $700 this chair is an ex is expensive when compared to similar chairs that's not a very good sentence because I didn't actually make the comparison to similar chairs and that might have been a good idea to do so then what I would do is put a question mark there and basically tell myself I need to go back to that and I need to like look up similar chairs to see if it is in fact expensive. Um, one of the things I did find out is I mean it seems $700 expensive but it does come with a lifetime warranty although that doesn't cover the adjustment levers which would, one would think that would be what would break so most people think that $700 is expensive for a chair so but then I shouldn't say I should just say it is expensive and since I didn't compare it I probably should remove that now the polyurethane cushion makes the chair comfortable to sit on for extended periods of time so that's not really a lot there so what I would do is then take this and transcribe this to a word processor which I have up here I'm gonna use Abby Word I tend to like to use open source software and that's what Abbey Word is. So and then I would simply just start typing this in. Uh, it was a Han. I'm gonna put the TM next to it but I'm I'm not gonna superscript it yet. Superscript is where you take the TM and you raise it up. I'll probably well I can check that out to see what that is like. So generally that's and there's superscript. So I just superscripted that trademark. Uh, we can zoom in here. 
So it was a Han high performance, oh, I believe that's, that's task chair model number H7828. And then I would say this chair is 34 and one half inches deep by 26 and 7 eighths inches wide and 44 inches tall. Its colors are maroon. Uh, <coughs> those are maroon where uh, the colors are maroon and black. The poly. So I'm going to change this. So I'm going to say the 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 colors are maroon and black. The maroon and maroon for the cushions on the seat and back and black uh, for the plastic and metal parts. Whoops. And actually this does not need a comma here. So that's, I did change that and that's part of my process. I like to handwrite first and then um, transcribe it. And when I transcribe it, that's when I make changes. Uh, its features include adjustments, adjustable, should really be uh, back food and adjustable back armrest and seat which include height, width, and tilt, which include height, width, and tilt, at $700, this chair seems expensive but it does come with a lifetime warranty. And then I'm going to go to comfort and basically material all the same. So uh, the polyurethane, polyurethane cushion. cushions on both the back and seat are wrapped by cloth by a nylon like cloth that resists stains that provides excellent comfort to the person sitting 
in it for extended periods of time. So that's what I have thus far. Um, let's do a word count. So I have 112 words. I need about 150. So what I would probably do go, is go back and look at the features and maybe say for example you can tilt the seat back to help uh, avoid lower back strain whoops strain so that, that's really what I would do is I would pump up the features because there's a lot of features in the chair and that's what I kind of have the least of so what I would do is go back and just add to that and then you know reference the come back here reference the website so back height adjustment tilt asynchronous control so it can move both things at once it has a seat glide mechanism height and width adjustable arms so as you can see there's all kind of these basically all of these features and I can just go through all of these as well almost in the same way they have it here if I wanted to so that's just one way to look at it and this is probably the easiest way to do a technical is to find a product and then just write out kind of what they have there already in your own prose um, and your own information that you think is important to what the chair looks like. So this is how you do a technical description. Um, this is learningengineer.com. Have a great day.